writer Ben did a little update on USB 4. Okay, so that's just going to be like the next generation of USB. And it's ready, but we won't see it soon. We'll get into that. So, USB technology has been increasing at a rapid pace, and it seems the group developing the next version has already finished. The USB implement implementers forum, that's, that is an organization, stated that USB 4 uh, doubles, yet again doubles the speeds of current USB 3.2. This is done by adding Intel's Thunderbolt technology. Current speeds are up to 20 gigabits per second, and USB 4 will be up to 40 gigabits per second. The new USB ports will be backwards compatible with USB-C connectors as well. This means you will be able to use any USB Type-C device on another device that comes with the USB 4 bus. The new USB 4 will also support data and display protocols, uh, which may lead to more USB connected monitors in the future, which that that is very strange the idea of using like something that's usb to connect a monitor that that is kind of like i mean current going... usb c is capable of is capable of it but with the mm -hmm. faster connection it's going to be even better at it so it I've, does actually does make I've, sense thing is i haven't seen a monitor before with a usb c connector that's because there's better options right now but this might, but with USB 4, it might actually become a competitor for those other options. So this because is going to be com this is going to be complete competing with HDMI, Display Port, and then there's going to be like this USB like 4 deal now. Yeah. Okay. So unfortunately, as with most good things, we will have to wait before we start seeing USB 4 on our favorite devices. Though there is no set date, the USB implementer, <laughs> implement, Implementers Forum stated that within 12 to 18 months, we could expect to start seeing devices with the new technology. Following that, we could see them by the end of 2020. Okay, so using Intel's Thunderbolt technology was essential to doubling the speed of USB 4. However, that isn't a promise of perfect compatibility. What this means is that in a few years, USB 4 may not have support for Thunderbolt peripherals. The USB IF, you know, that organization I keep mentioning, noted that Thunderbolt 3 is an optional uh, capability for USB 4. Because of this, the makers of devices that are including USB 4 technology have to clear Thunderbolt's testing and certification requirements on their own. On top of this, the device makers will have to include USB power uh, delivery technology that controls charging and enable faster charging as well. So it sounds like USB 4, it's going to be using like that same like Type C connector, right? Yeah. But everything that's labeled Thunderbolt isn't necessarily Thunderbolt functionality isn't necessarily going to work over uh, USB types, uh, the Type C USB 4 connector. It, it's gonna it's gonna need like a special certification for that. So I guess there's going to be like some kind of Thunderbolt certification on cables. It's going to be mm -hmm. a thing you're going to have to look for. Okay, so that being said, over the years, USB has begun to get confusing. We went from 2.0 to 3.0, and now 3.1 and 3.2. It seems that the USB IF is trying to simplify things a bit by naming it USB 4. You know, our writer Ben here wrote this. They could name it USB 4, but how long before it be 4.1 and 0.2 and, you know, yeah. just, just like, geez, yeah, it's going to happen probably. Yeah. Probably. Okay, so, 
But it, it probably won't happen right away. It'll probably happen a couple of years down the line. Until well, like, I, I think what they do is they do the 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 uh, like the the points until there's like enough of a significant upgrade to rectify them, like using a whole a, new number. A whole number. Mm -hmm. which makes sense like if they're just incremental upgrade up upgrades sure fine whatever but if it's like if it's a substa substantial upgrade like this is this is literally doubling the the speed at which it can transfer information like i'd say that's re it's a reasonable excuse for them to wrap to go move up to the next whole number well here's some bullshit I, I gotta tell you. So USB 3.0 and USB 3 3.1, that could be the same thing. See, because there's a USB 3.1 generation one and a USB 3.1 generation two. That doesn't include USB 3.2. So mm. I, they they I, they, they, they they like completely screwed the uh, the whole understanding of how these are labeled like yeah this was like, this was, they, they did changed all this to like gen one to this gen one gen two crap like a couple months ago or something like that right i think there's yeah. there's really sometime within it, the last year they did this bullshit and it was just like why would you do and you're, that meanwhile your average joe is just like <laughs> trying to google like i don't know which one i need like there's so many well the thing is it's all compatible you know but the thing is you, you don't could get be bottlenecking yeah. you, could, you could be bottlenecking yourself unnecessarily or like do yeah. i have a 3.2 gen 1 or gen 3 do i have a th or is it a gen 1 gen 2 3.2 or is it uh, on this topic the issue was there are people that got usb uh 3.1 uh gen 1 which is the same thing as 3.0 so what they needed what they probably wanted was 3.1 uh gen 2 right so mm -hmm. i think that that is like total like marketing just selling overselling you something it's 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 lying to you through marketing the whole idea of 3.1 gen 1 that being a thing it's the same fucking thing as 3.0 and what people what they're selling you really is is gen 2 that's that's what you're you think you're getting but you weren't and i think that this kind of exists on the market right now potentially i haven't seen usb 3.2 uh devices i think that that's probably a thing right now if we're already talking about usb 4 being a thing next year but i've seen cases and motherboards with usb c connections but the thing is though like they only generally give you like one or two now it, two if you're lucky most of them just only have one and the rest of them are standard usb ports whether they be like no that i saw this motherboard had to like seven usb ports like three of them were usb 3.1 like two of them were 3.2 gen 1 like the other four were like usb 3.2 gen 2 or whatever and it's like why would you do this yeah. like why 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 not just put them make them all the same like why Okay, so though they haven't shared much about the new technology, such as logos uh, and other brands, they did share faster speeds. Uh, unified uh, charging capabilities and when we might get our hands on it. On a final note, the USB IF stated the consumer facing... Uh, the consumer facing branding and marketing guidelines for USB 4 products are still being finalized, but there will be a focus on clearly indicating performance levels. You know, that's what they say, but we'll 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 see about that. What color I mean, means what? Quick. Does anybody know the answer? 
Well, I know that uh, teal. That that is like uh, three point one. That that's higher than three point oh. Blue is two point oh. I know that. Right. Right. <laughs> oh no no. Oh blue blue is three. I thought blue, blue is was two. Uh, I think just oh white or, white or gray is two. Like. <laughs> Blue, blue is three. Uh, some kind of teal, I believe, is is three point one or three. And I think red I is think three point two, right? Actually, I haven't even seen red, so that prop. If there's a red, that probably is three point two. Another thing about teal, I think that might have something to do with the Type C connection, but they they do need to iron this out. They're saying yeah, that it's oh, confusing we were, as shit. Like. Can, <laughs> the mar the marketing guidelines for USB four products are still being finalized, but there will be a focus on clearly indicating performance levels. Sure, Jan. Sure. Okay. Jeez. Okay. So, the higher speeds of USB devices have been a boon for those doing video editing and other high data uh, data flow procedures. It has also led to better functioning of external GPUs. However. Or the rest of us can reach that 40 gigabits per second speed. We will have to wait a year. That is the story there. So it really, they just need to get their shit together and make everything. <laughs> In summary, get your shit together. <laughs> yes, please. It's like all fra fractured. You thought USB was like all unified and shit. I okay, so here we go. White is USB 1. Black is USB 2. Blue is USB 3. And I okay. don't notice USB 2 being black, but... I mean, I guess now that you say it... Yeah. It's funny, I, I have something that's USB 2 on the front of my PC right here. There's three ports on my PC. Two of them are three. One of them's two. I don't want to unplug the thing that's plugged into the two. I was going to, like, just think about doing that that would be funny what is this Something i unplug totally it shuts and down it's like, yeah exactly like, <laughs> actually you know what I oh god that. <laughs> it's gonna explode <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't look god i feel like i need to get a flashlight or something look that black but okay maybe maybe but yeah i have a oh. black port and a blue port on the side of my PC. If anyone wants to play along, what color USBs do you have? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let's move away from. Uh, l is there anything else for for this? No, that's it for USB four. And yeah, twenty twenty so is it, when it, we're. It, yeah, it's going to be like good. twelve to eighteen months before we see any, like computer parts and hardware stuff adopting this. Uh, you'll probably honestly, you'll probably see it on phones before you see it on PCs and stuff, because I'll be honest, like the first time I saw USB C, it was a, as a phone char charger. Yeah, so, I would agree with that. So yeah, so you you'll probably see that. it on phones first. <laughs> All right, moving on to electric vehicles. Uh, so the, I believe the st it is the state of California has told Tesla. If you are going to provide car insurance for electric vehicles, you cannot provide it only to your electric vehicles. So Tesla insurance is now available to owners of any electrical, ele electric vehicle, whether it be te the, the, a Tesla vehicle or say the Chevy Volt or even the upcoming Porsche electric vehicle, Ed. Okay. She was yeah. so taken by <laughs> surprise. That was quick. Okay, so, <laughs> so Porsche has uh, two new electric vehicles, uh, the the Taycan uh, <clears throat> and the Taycan S, right? So they're okay. The first one is one hundred and fifty, goes zero to sixty in three seconds. The Taycan S, it goes uh, zero to sixty in two and a half seconds. You know these kind of figures these are these are competing with like what tesla is also doing and also the weight and form factor of what goes into these is also competing with what tesla 
Apparently, these electric cars are heavy as fuck. You know that? They 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 weigh like over five thousand pounds. This these Porsches I'm talking about, they weigh over five thousand pounds. The battery in the cars weigh uh, thirteen hundred pounds. And it's worth noting that the battery in the Tesla Model S is uh, twelve hundred pounds. So it's actually a, a hundred pounds um, more than the Model S battery. We and I believe even their the body, the material that they're made out of, is heavier, at least for Tesla. I, I, I'd imagine, based off the weights we're getting for these, is they're all steel frame as compared to fiberglass or what have you, you know? So, me and Zach, before the show, we were actually we were talking about the weight of what these batteries are, and it's like, man, what do these batteries even look at? So we kind of did a google image on what they look like and i gotta be honest back back thought yeah i was expecting it to be a brick a a big i was thinking just massive fucking dense anvil brick battery in the front of the car and no i mean i think there's an engine in the front of the car but the battery is like underneath the car yeah It's it's, it's the undercarriage of the car is the battery so and that's pretty interesting I wasn't and then I, that. I brought I brought up something silly like oh, well that's that's a weak point if that went over an IED, <laughs> good. <laughs> I don't know why I brought that up. Yeah, so yeah, they're, they're, it, they're not they're not going to the, be the, the, deploying the, these in hostile territories where there's IEDs, but it was just like. Well, I think that's part of one of the safety things is why it's allegedly safer because it helps the center of gravity in the car. I was going to so say, yeah, like balance wise, it's, you... it's really yeah. good. Like for balance wise, it's fantastic because mm. equal weight distribution and all that too, you know, like, yeah, I can see that. And, uh, oh, okay. Can I uh, say a little more about the Porsches here? Yes, go ahead. Okay, go right so, ahead. So, okay. These, the Taycan, they're uh, they're supposed to get uh, three hundred miles to a full charge. Okay, okay that's okay. actually really good. I was going to ask you what's the range on this because, like, I've seen the range on like the the Chevy Volt is meh. Uh, the 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 tes- Teslas are definitely the line to beat when it comes to miles to t- to the charge, but that that actually hits it hits good numbers like that. That is definitely competitive with Tesla, so I would say bravo on them for that. Definitely. Okay, um, the Taycan is probably the S. It gets a top speed of. 161 miles uh, 161 miles per hour it's a porsche i hope so (laughs) yeah and the tesla model s and x get 163 so they're like keeping up with like what tesla is doing so really we're talking about these electric porsche cars and they are direct competition with what tesla's uh e-vehicles yeah absolutely uh, do we have a price point on these yet? I mean, I'm yeah, expecting I, I very did, expensive. I, did. I said, <laughs> it was kind of the first thing I said, uh, the Taycan, uh, was like 150000 and the Taycan Turbo S is, uh, 185000 And they're competing yeah. with Tesla on specs, but for price, they're not so much. a lot more expensive. Even when Tesla was making the Roadster, which was the very first Tesla they made, which was their sports car, and, and uh, that was that 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 was a hundred grand. So even competing against that, it price wise, it's kind of well. Uh, just to say, Porsche, Porsche is, isn't that like the midlife crisis car brand where people just bit. like spend Porsche, a lot of money. Cadillac, Ferrari. Yeah, I mean, that, that's. It's it's like a luxury car brand. Yeah, but so's Tesla. And, well, the thing and is, I think Tesla's also aiming to have like the everybody car versus like the Porsche is like they're marketed as high end and they don't want to not be that. You know, if that makes sense. I think Elon Musk eventually he wants to be selling cars to like people that would buy like a Toyota Corolla. 
okay. Exactly. Well, he he's gone on record saying like this, like the, this is like the exact opposite. By the way, he's saying that once uh, autonomous driving gets released and is uploaded to like model threes and model and stuff like that uh they're they're going to go up in price significantly so mm. like if you were to buy a model three now like it think of it as an investment because once that update gets released where self-driving becomes a thing uh it'll like the price is going to skyrocket he said he has gone on record saying that like the price of the model three will go up by quite a bit once that comes up because essentially you'll be able to use your car as an auto taxi when you're not in it like you could legit have it have it go and drive people around as a taxi exactly and make money for you your your tesla will will be able to make money for you while you're at, say at work or at home not using it you know like these are specific examples that he gave too. I would be so scared to leave my Tesla alone with a stranger. <laughs> I'm sure that that there's insurance that they'd offer like his insurance insurance for it. Tesla insurance. <laughs> I'm sure there's like an autonomous vehicle insurance that they're working on specifically for case scenarios like this. Yeah. So, but I, wondering... basically what 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 I'm sure they they'd be able to uh lock all all controls and stuff like that so like nobody would be able to take over your Tesla as they're yeah. being taken yeah. around by it like they they I'm sure there they there'd be a, like a full control cut so like nobody would be able to drive physically drive your vehicle like mm -hmm. brake and gas pedals would be cut and all that sort of stuff like would be cut off so that like i said no one would be able to steal your vehicle while it's driving them around but i yeah so this and is a thing. i want i want to know when are there going to be like self-driving cars that are like 30 grand like when is that not for a while because again the, you the, just the, said the, elon elon's gonna like bump the price up more on these once they start the thing is, if 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 you want adoption of like a car technology, you got to get the, those prices down so they're actually affordable to like median income, you know, people. Well, he's and, done done significant work on bringing the price down for electric vehicles. Uh, yes, what we might yeah. see is I think currently though, it's is, at forty. Yeah, like for, forty grand. Like that's mm -hmm. that's actually average for like most i think and i mean it goes vehicles. up for obviously what you want out of it but yeah you know if you just want but the if basics. you get it but if you get the model 3 with the upgrades necessary for it to become fully autonomous when the update becomes available right. uh i think that with, with that it's like 50 grand but yeah exactly. it, we're, we're probably looking at a hundred grand price bump so it'd probably be in the porsche range of prices once this ha once this gets released the porsche electric vehicle range when this update gets released we're talking probably like 150 180 200 i think it's so important that at some point there there's just enough self-driving cars out on the road to the point that they start passing laws that like there has to be you have to have like a self-driving car at some point because it, once that happens all the cars are kind of like all connected they're all on a yeah. grid and like car accidents but that, that's not going, going to, to happen right away obviously yeah, like it's gonna it's gonna we, take we've decades seen how how long it's taken for tesla to to bring awareness to it and stuff like that more car manufacturers to get on board and stuff like that we're probably looking at probably roughly the same time frame before we get more self-driving vehicles on the road as well. I mean, no, obviously we... we got multiple companies working on it. We got Google, we have Tesla, uh, we have multiple privately owned companies working on it, uh, but it's just something that's going to take some time. Tesla is obviously the current leader, I believe. Tesla and Google mm -hmm. 
are the current leaders with self-driving technology and stuff like that. Obviously, Tesla has a dumb smart vehicle thing going right now with auto fetch where your car can like come to you currently it's not a full self-driving vehicle yet but like say you're in a parking garage or something like that you can summon your tesla and it'll drive to you uh and there is like a uh, like a, a a drive assist mode i forget what it's called where like that your your car will will stay in the lines for you and it'll auto brake and accelerate and stuff like that, kind of like a smart cruise control, mm -hmm. uh, that stays in the lines for you. Uh, but yeah, like once full full automation comes, like that's uh, that's a whole new ballpark. Because yep. until they become more common, obviously they're going to be more expensive. And the tech's going to be expensive to start and then gradually lower. Like like I said, Tesla's first vehicle, the Roadster, it started off at a hundred grand and that was base price before any upgrades. Like a fully kitted out Roadster cost about as much as the Porsches we were just talking about. Mm hmm Well the figure of car deaths in the United States is very similar to the figure of gun deaths. And when we have fully automated cars i mean that could just dramatically just drop there mm -hmm. are more people like everything just cooperating on the road you know just that would be so 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 nice and, all right so moving away from porsche and currently announced uh tesla vehicles to elon musk saying that uh we should be expecting a reveal of the Tesla truck with before the end of the year. He's only got a couple months left before the end of the year, though, so he better step on it. <laughs> Pun was intended. Uh, <laughs> that being said, uh, that being said, like these guys are probably sick sick of hearing this joke by now because I've already said it a couple times, but. I'm kind of expecting him to call the Tesla truck the Model T, just because that is something that I that that I would expect from him. The like, it is definitely something that Elon would probably do, especially since he spelled sexy with the Tesla na model names. Good old Elon. 